Hi everyone, Shervin Shafi here, Principal Technical Specialist at Microsoft, and I'm here to tell you about a really, really great feature that's being added to the Microsoft telephony ecosystem, and that's the SIP gateway. Now the SIP gateway was actually announced about a year ago, and there was a discussion about it at Microsoft Ignite in March of this year. But recently it just went into preview, which means that customers that are interested or your team nominates you can actually start trialing this. Now what the SIP gateway is, is basically if you have a phone, like a Cisco phone or a Polycom phone or a Yaling phone that is not Teams certified, but you want to connect it to the telephony environment from Microsoft, you can. So certain makes and models qualify as well, as well as the firmware that this needs to be on, but it's really great news, right? Because you don't have to change that piece of hardware that's sitting on the desk. It can actually be reused with our cloud telephony services. So what we did for video conferencing, the ability to use those Cisco telepresence endpoints to call into a Teams meeting using CVI cloud video interrupt, we're now doing with this SIP gateway. We're allowing you to use Cisco phones and Polycom phones to connect to Teams for calling. So we still have those great Teams certified devices that just natively work with our environment. But if you bought thousands or tens of thousands of these phones and you want to use them, why not use the SIP gateway? Now, remember in the past, I've done videos where I talk about, do you actually need a phone? Do you actually need a phone number? These are all questions that you have to ask yourself, right? Like, are my users now using soft phones and they're okay with it? Or can I trim back the number of desk phones or phone numbers that I have because people are communicating in different ways? So as you're modernizing your workplace and you're moving to Microsoft for telephony, you wanna start to realize where you can cut some costs. So let's look at the details of this. From a Cisco perspective, we're gonna be supporting 11 different models, 68, 78, and 8800 series phones. Not all of them, but some of the models inside those lines. Now here's the key. They have to be running MPP firmware, which is a multi-party platform software. This is a different piece of software that runs on your communications manager. So if you're connecting these Cisco phones to on-premise, you're gonna to have to get that MPP firmware, which is the firmware that you need to connect to WebEx calling. Once they're running the MPP software, then, then you can actually go through the process of connecting them to Teams for calling. From a Polycom perspective, there's 26 different models that are supported, Yagling 20 models and six from Audio Codec. Now from a feature perspective, these phones are more on the basic side, right? So think common areas or users that are not really power users that can use these devices with Teams. But these phones are gonna be able to receive calls and make calls to the outside and inside, internal and external. They can mute and transfer and put the calls on hold. And you can also get voicemail and you're gonna have your message waiting indicator and call into audio conferencing. So all the basic features these phones will have, but they're not gonna have like the most advanced features. And so more advanced features, if you want, then you should look at team certified devices. Now, from a licensing perspective, the way things stand at the moment, and I'm saying this because it's a preview feature, so there's caveats of the potential of things changing between now and when it becomes generally available by the end of the year. So just keep that in mind. But as it stands right now, if you wanna use one of these third-party phones with Microsoft, you need to have a phone system license if it's gonna be associated to a user. And these phones also have to have a phone number, like a PSCN, a DID, so they have to have a phone number they can dial out and in. Now, if you wanna use these for common areas where it's not associated to a user, but it's basically just in a lobby or in a lab environment, then there's a common area of phone license that we have for team certified devices as well as these. I'm super excited about this feature. This is really just the beginning, but it's already coming out with a bang with all these different phones, makes some models and features that we can support. And it's only gonna get better from here with those additional features, not just phones, but really cool stuff that's gonna be added to the SIP gateway. And the SIP gateway, by the way, lives in our cloud. So there's no additional infrastructure cost for you. It's just a service that we're providing in the cloud. So I hope this was helpful. Drop me a line if you have any questions. All the best.